Hey everybody, I'm Camille Coste and I am 28 years old and this is my third time shooting for Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. Hmm, I think that it is the newly famous Charlie D'Amelio, D'Amelio, I'm not sure how to say her last name, but she is very famous on TikTok. She is actually a Connecticut native like myself and she follows me on Instagram and I feel like she has like tens of millions of followers. And then I also recently found out that Amy Schumer has been following me for a little bit. So I feel like she has a big following as well. And I think it's pretty cool. Amy and I actually did a movie together. It was my first cameo in a film and we met on set there. So it was cool to find out that she followed me after that. I think it's, I'm filming on my phone right now so I have to go off memory, but I think it is my mom. She checks in with me every day. She asks how my day is going. Um, so I think I just texted her back right before I started filming, telling her my day was good and that I was about to film this. <laughs> I think I would just keep reminding myself to stay in my own lane and do not compare myself to anybody else. It is so, so easy to do in this industry. Um, there's room for everybody. You are your biggest competition. Um, your fears and your limitations are all caused by you. So get out of the way of your own happiness, your own dreams, and go for it. Oh gosh, where do I begin? I feel like I've also met so uh, a handful of celebrities that I've looked up to, like Christy Brinkley and Tyra Banks, um, and I met Rihanna. I've met I met a handful of people that I have admired, but someone that I haven't met yet. I would love to meet Chrissy Teigen. I think she's an awesome television personality. I think that she is an incredible woman. I think that she is a beautiful supermodel for Sports Illustrated, and I just think she's like a ball of fun. So I would love to spend a day with Chrissy. That would have to be the little blue butterfly. It is my all-time favorite. I use it when it doesn't even make sense. I just love it so much. I think it's so cute and beautiful. Um, and I like to use the little fairy with the little wand. I use that a lot. And then I also use the heart face. It has little baby hearts all around its face. It's just so sweet and cute and so, so lovely and loving. I saw this question coming, so I looked in my recent Google history and it is, what are the health benefits of taking an ice cold shower? So it is something that I newly put into my routine. I take a two to three minute ice cold shower when I wake up in the morning, it gets me going, gets my mind right, and there's a lot of health benefits um, that go along with it, so look it up if you're, if you're wondering too. I would probably tell myself to slow down, reflect, and take a deep breath. It is okay to just stop and breathe. It is, you are nothing without your health, so I think it would just be to remind myself that it is okay to take some breaks, still be a hard worker, um, but you need to stop and check in with yourself. Being welcomed into this brand, the iconic Sports Illustrated Swimsuit brand, and being a part of the family, being named a rookie for SI Swimsuit, and then rookie year turning into a cover year. And it's not only one of the best, the best moment in my career, it is one of the top best moments of my life, hands down shooting for the 2020 issue in the Dominican in February. Best memory this year. Wow. A year from now, I hope that I am continuing to cross things off of my list of goals that I either have my own podcast or my own TV show. It's been a little bit tough to start to pursue these things and bring them to life. Um, there are two goals that I've been working towards, but a lot of it has to be done from home. So I hope a year from now that one of, one of the two comes to fruition. Hmm, Iceland or Hawaii or both. I would love to go to the, those two places. I have not been to either and I have been yearning to go to both. At the end, of my shoe, I think it was one of my last bathing suits of the day. There was a young girl who was in the background of the shots and I had 
seen her kind of admiring the set from afar and I called her over and I had her introduce herself and meet the team and I told her what we were doing and what we were shooting for and she said, are you Camille? And I said, I am. And she said, I know that you are shooting for Sports Illustrated Swimsuit because I follow you on Instagram and it would mean so much to me if you'd follow me back. And we met her parents and it was just really, really cool to see her just checking out the set from afar and just being so sweet and loving and carefree. And I'm so happy that I had the opportunity to call her over and get to meet her and her family. And she was so beautiful. I won't be shocked if she's a future SI swimsuit um, candidate. And it was just a really, really fun and special moment on set. And we took a picture together and we keep in touch through Instagram now. So I would have been just like her if I was on vacation and Sports Illustrated Swimsuit was shooting right in front of me, I would be in the water admiring from afar. So it was really cool to be, um, to be that girl for her. I think it would be Iceland. It is a place that I've always wanted to go. I've wanted to go to the Blue Lagoon and go to the mountains and the waterfalls. And I just think it's such a beautiful location. And I think it would just be like a double whammy if I could go there and explore the land while also capturing um, my sports illustrated some suit photos there. My favorite movie is Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. I, I think it wasn't up until just a few years ago that I realized that Lindsay Lohan was not a twin in that movie and that it's her two times. Watermelon. I think it is like the earth's candy. I think it is so good, I can't even believe it, it grows from the ground. Best tasting food out there. I love Modern Family, but just very recently I was binge watching Outer Banks and I hope there's a season two because I'm hooked. <laughs> There's a book that I actually am almost done reading and I am so in love with it. I have been really honing in and focusing on um, holistic healing and um, the body and the mind and the spirit. And one of my favorite books right now is called Wheels of Life. It's about all the chakras and yeah, that's my favorite. Check it out if you're interested in that kind of stuff too. My favorite job that I've had this year, I think goes hand in hand with my favorite memory of this year, and that is shooting for the 2020 issue in the Dominican. Um, whenever I'm with this team and whenever I'm on that set, it is one of the most euphoric feelings, and hands down, that was my, my best job this year. 